Colas Brignon may be the most popular xylophone excerpt outside of Porgy. You certainly will have the chance to play this with the orchestra frequently, and it's no surprise as to why it's asked in auditions. You will play it. I often use the phrase shot out of a cannon to describe the opening of Colas. It's a great overture and start of a concert. Tons of energy and life. I think this passage can be quick, perhaps even quicker than the average performance tempo. When played by itself, the quicker tempo will add energy and keep it on the front side of the beat. I rarely recommend this, but in this instance, I think it works. Use plenty of dynamic shape to follow the line. The peaks can be high, but be sure to come down when you're able to, to keep the overall dynamic reasonable. It shouldn't all be loud. Rehearsal 11 is marked fortissimo, and it certainly can be loud, but only at the tops of the phrase. Come down on the repeated notes so it doesn't come across as insensitive. While we definitely need lots of dynamic shape, it shouldn't affect the rhythm. Sometimes when groups of notes are shaped dynamically, it can affect the rhythm and stylize them. The rhythm should still be relatively square. If the rhythm is overly stylized, it won't fit into the subdivisions of the rest of the orchestra. The middle passage at rehearsal 36 is in the same style as the opening, but no longer the melody and much more mellow. I would definitely switch to a more mellow, rounded mallet to provide contrast. Your touch can also lighten up. The contrast between the opening melody and now accompaniment should be very apparent. There can be similar sweeping dynamic shapes, but maybe slightly more rounded in shape in comparison to the opening. The end is back into the zealous style of the opening. I think it could possibly be taken three to four clicks faster for the sake of adding energy, but not much more than just a few. Use the same dynamic tactic of showing the high moments with the full dynamic, but coming down when you can to keep the overall dynamic reasonable. The committee is expecting a loud, full volume, but if there's no shape, it will come across as insensitive and heavy. Use the loudest dynamic as a tool to show the biggest moments and then lighten up. After a constant train of eighth notes, the rest can potentially break our concentration. We need to keep that subdivision going in our head of eighths, so the scale before rehearsal 60 comes out right on time as well as the end. It's very easy for these rests to fall out of time. Colas is a perfect example of how the xylophone should be used in the orchestra. The part fits so well and is the perfect instrument to complement the melody. Play strong and confident, but keep in mind you're playing by yourself, so you may have to dial back the volume in the audition.